In this video we'll talk about the new uh, import feature pack that allows you to import data from an Excel file or a common delimited ASCII file into the uh, uh, table that the grid is based on or into an external table. So uh, when you choose this option the file is uploaded from the user's machine to the server and then imported. So let's uh, take a look at, at how this uh, functionality works and then look at how it was uh, set up. So you can see here that we have a uh, simple Excel file that's got customer information in it. And let's go and just edit one of these rows here and change the uh, first name to Bernard and then save it and uh, close the Excel file down. Now let's go back over here and uh, uh, the import uh, uh, from Excel works either in live preview or working preview. So let's go here in uh, working preview and choose import go ahead there and choose my Excel file click the upload button so you can see there the data gets uploaded and uh, there's my success message 59 records and uh, there's the data now uh, in Excel and you can see there's Bernard indicating that in fact we did read the data from that Excel file but we can also import from uh, ASCII so let's go here now and this time Let's choose a comma delimited ASCII file there. So let's go ahead now, click upload, and uh, you can see another 59 records got imported, and so now we're up to 118 records uh, in this file. So now let's go and see how, in fact, we set up these uh, these actions. So I'll go back to design mode over here, and uh, what I'm going to do is put a new button. Uh, uh, in the grid that uh, duplicates this functionality. So I'm going to go here to design mode and I'm going to choose um, uh, action buttons over there. Um, actually let's put it into the toolbar. So let's go there and I'm going to go here and define a new action button um, called um, import2 and then go ahead there and say uh, import and now go here and define the uh, action the uh, for this button so I can go there go, go into action JavaScript and if I say add new action you can see now there's a new action available called uh, import data so here we can specify what files the user can upload so we were allowing uh, Excel files and ASCII files here here's the maximum size of the file that the user can upload let's go ahead here and say auto upload which means that as soon as the user makes the selection the file will be uploaded then we can import data into either the current grid or a uh, external table but in this case we'll just choose the current grid uh, we can choose whether we want to honor rules and events or not. Uh, this uh, obviously only makes sense if the grid itself is editable. And uh, if you click this button, then the can insert event will fire and also all data validation in the grid will be honored. So uh, we'll discuss that in a uh, subsequent video. And here you can choose the maximum number of rows in the uh, file um, to allow so uh, you might decide that you want to prevent the user from uploading a file that contains more than say 10,000 rows or something like that but if I just set that to zero then um, uh, that'll uh, process all of the records in the uploaded file and then finally I can customize uh, various aspects of the uh, the messages that uh, that get uh, sent back to the user including using language tags so let's go ahead now and uh, close that and uh, now let's put that button called import2 on our toolbar and then go ahead now and uh, run and before I run it I'll just click this button here which uh, is going to empty out all of the current records in the grid so now I'll press my button go ahead now and choose Excel data and uh, there we go and the data got uploaded so you can see that adding this functionality to a grid is uh, very easy so let's stop now and pick it up in the next video